All right, let's check this out. Cool, that looks very cool. All right. Neat, all right. My impression was that this is super cool. Gotta get um, this guy going at one point. But I think this is looking uh, very cool. Very smooth, nice action, clean silhouette. Uh, I wonder... If at this point, I know it's a bit tricky, but I'm just wondering out loud if there's anything to show. It's so weird, like this just seems like a fist growing out of what's going on there. And it's, I know that if we have, you know, if the arm is back here and we have it come out here, you just have like a stump coming out. So I'm not sure if you have to go further and see actually uh, more of the arm to do that type of thing. Bring this guy a bit lower. You know. One of that will end up being a bit clearer than just a nub. Nubbing up coming out there. Um, that's, that's just for this part though. go back. Yeah, this dress is cool. And this pose, once you're here, uh, there's a slight feeling of... You're doing all this here, right? I'm looking at the feet as well. So you're doing all of that. And it feels like you're really rotating this really far over this way. Right? Such a rotation there. But then at the same time, it feels like, well, at that point, that knee would really point more that way. So it would be, you know, a way of... There's something about this leg just being always so stuck to the ground. So it's almost like you would shuffle with this leg around and take a step with the other one. There's something about this section that you can see if I scrub through. The feet are totally locked, and there's so much rotation in the upper body, and it feels like he would do a little bit of a step or something in there to get away from that locked feel. Rest is cool though, I really really like that shot. This thing to me just feels like there's so much, like the moment he goes, phew, looks at him, I think to me that's when those fingers will go from the relaxed pose to um, what you have here, right? And then after that, it feels like you want to bring that hand almost back a bit. It's my hand. <laughs> so it goes back a bit this way, so that once you cut into this shot, uh, that guy, A, is, you know, it's so centered that it would actually be his eye would be here, and nose and eye, and he would actually move over so that he ends up being uh, here almost. Right? That's my guy. <laughs> So as he does uh, this massive move through here, it's actually all while he's taking a couple steps back. It just feels like there's so much awesome energy in action. And then we cut to this and it's just kind of just there. And then he does this thing where it just feels very isolated. It feels like this goopy moment of already going back and going, holy shit. And that's all cool. This I'm not so hot about, mainly the camera work. Because I buy all this, some good action there. I'm gonna have to, um, I would add some, you know, blades of grass coming out and some pieces of stones or something, you know, so we can, so it's not just green. We can see stuff moving in the frame to understand the camera move. But then once you get to this, this feels like a massively sudden, fast um, translate that feels just a bit weird. Like to me, it feels like you can get to this, and then throughout the action of him biting down and everything, you got the big guy actually turning clockwise in Y. So that because of the rotation of the body, you end up with this angle, and then you could just go from, you know, from this cut to this. You know, like he, we, we, it, it gets on the thing, guy turns around, and then we cut to a close up. That's that, and then you continue the action. It's just something about 
this feeling very CG where the camera just really transits in super fast. Am I right? Uh, that's kind of it. Thank you. All right. There's an email. You can sign up. You can start whenever you want. You can submit whenever you want. You get 16 submissions. Either way, a like and subscribe would be awesome. All right. Thank you.